is up, people? Welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone 2 Kappa Mode. I hope everybody's doing all right. I'm doing amazing. And, well, you can see behind me a lot of things happened. I mean, a lot of things happened. I mean, a lot. <laughs> By a lot, I mean, we've got most of the base actually in shape. Well, actually, the outside is pretty much done. We've got photo cannon that uh, sadly don't work. We've got some uh, intake for the air. Uh, the wings go out the back. Uh, we got this that is open so that we can do Galacticraft at the top. We, we also got the engines in the back for propulsion and things. So, yeah, things are looking pretty cool on this uh, little ship of ours. Uh, but... You know, I've been working really hard on streams and off stream too, uh, to get this to where it is right now. And I want to say, like, thanks people for coming to the stream. Um, I know, like, it's uh, just building and stuff. It's not the most amazing thing to look at, but it's, it's nice to, to have some people uh, and stuff. So today I want to continue a little bit into Batania, just simply because... Uh, well, we're going in the right direction, uh, but to start doing anything over here, uh, we need to do something over here, which is pretty much that thing. We need to get Terra Steel. Uh, and with Terra Steel, we'll then be able to get these. So, it isn't too bad. Uh, I've also done one quest off camera, which is in Epsilon. I've made Compressed Iron. Uh, it says that to get compressed iron, the only way to do it is pressure chamber. But what you can do is you can uh, blow it up with TNT and it will give you some of that. But like usual, I want to take some time at the start or at the end or somewhere uh, to open some bags. Because, you know, I've got this in one of the bags. Kind of want to open more. Okay, chance cube. Yeah, thanks. No thanks. Uh, picking with blockheads. Anti-builder's block? Anti-anti-builder's block. What? Anti-builder's? Anti-anti? What is that? Okay. Oh, nice. A transfer node. And the last one, sponge. Uh, no, that's the last one. Okay, we got the maximum bow again. <laughs> I think it's the second time we get it. We also have a good, so we'll get a sponge out of it. And two epics. Uh, light oxygen tank, this is pretty cool. Are they filled up? Yes, they're filled up. And flask of shielding, so we can have some absorption. Pretty cool. Uh, we didn't get some crazy things like this. Uh, supposedly I got really lucky. <laughs> That's what I have been hearing. And uh, I do understand that I probably got really lucky. <laughs> you know, it's not every day that you get something like this. But, alright. Uh, let me... Thank you. Well, down here, maybe I could show you. Uh, this thing is pretty huge when you take a good look at it uh, from the inside. Uh, this is the whole area we have to work with, which, like I said, I want to have like maybe the the bat farm at the bottom. That's for sure. We want to have the bat farm over there, and uh, after that, we want to have uh, plants here. Uh, I might remove this. To make this one lower and put it really at the back so we can put water and fertility and stuff. Even if I don't even know if it's really needed. Uh, and over here I decided to move Botania outside. Just right here on, on the front. You know, because it's needed. And, uh, well, I've already started by, you know, piling up a little bit of mana. And this is going to actually be helpful for us today. So it's actually the other one. Okay, so we're gonna need that. Uh, and I've made this thing here. This thing is a auto filling pedal apothecary. Yes, I know the top it says pedal apothecary, but it's auto filling because I've made this. <laughs> uh, this thing here, it's an autonomous activator pointing into it with uh, one bucket of water, which is because it went there. So in here, I've got a filter on the extract for simple bucket, and here I've got an extract on the water bucket. So it just goes between them and it won't move until it's empty. So when it's going to empty, it's going to go back to the bottom, grab the water, come back to the top for the next flower that we want. So this is just a simple, simple settings. 
Uh, in those, when you make them, you do need to put an augment to be able to set this up, but you set it up by the back being uh, black like this. And of course, it needs power. Uh, at the bottom here, you can see I made a couple of crafting things. Uh, nothing too intense. Uh, what I want to do is I want to hide the portal in here. Uh, and I've looked at it and I won't be able to place it like this. So I'm going to place it the other way, like, like this. Uh, yeah, just to show. So it's going to be like this, so I can place my, uh, my two mana pole there. And they're going to be fed up, don't, don't worry. Uh, but let's start with the actual thing that we need to do. Uh, so in Botania, there is something, this thing, the terrestrial agglomeration plate. I'm pretty sure I messed up the name a couple of times there in one try. Uh, but yeah, so this thing is made, oh, oh, they changed the recipe. A good thing I've done my things and I've got the runes. So let's check. It needs water, earth, fire, air, and mana. Mana, water, fire, earth, air. Okay, it also needs a one block of mana steel and some stone. There we go. That should be what we need. Wait. Oh, that's lapis. <laughs> that's not stone. Uh, let's uh, go there. Wow, my, my vision... Like, it's like my eyes freak out when I get away from that sword. The speed is really intense. Uh, there we go. We got the terrestri terrestrial agglomeration plate. Oh, I had it the first time. Okay. Uh, I don't know if this is going to give us the quest. What is the other thing you want? Terrestrial. Okay. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Uh, we also need four of these, I think. Is it four? Well, let's do what we should normally do as good but tenure. And it's open the book. And uh, portal. No, that's not the portal. Uh, we want... Terror Steel. There you go. Visualize. What's on there? It is a normal block. Okay, that's what I wanted to do. So let's go at the bottom. Uh, I think I'm going to have like an exit on this side and an exit on the other side. I don't know what I'm going to put on the other side yet. Uh, this thing I think would work perfectly uh, here. Just because. Uh, Alright, so that's the four lap is like so. Uh, and we need five of those uh, like so, and this thing in the middle. So this is when we're going to drop, uh, it is, is it something else? Just let's take a look first. Uh, mana stealing good, mana diamond, and mana pearl. Okay, still pretty good, but it still needs one thing, it needs a spark. And this is where all our mana pool are going to come in handy, because we're going to put a spark on all of them. So they're all going to be able to feed this thing. Uh, I have no idea where I'm going. With all the changes, I'm like lost on where to go to my storage. So <laughs> it's kind of a little bit of a crazy. Alright, so the spark's like this, so blaze, uh, the petal. I'm going to use black just because I've got so many. There you go, that should be enough. It's 26 or so 13 sparks. I don't think I need that many. Uh, we'll take that. And... You here. There you go, I took a stack. So let's do this. A black. That was light gray. Okay, let's just do it manually, it's gonna be faster. And boom, there you go, now we've got the sparks. So we will be able to put this on the plate, put one on each of these, like so. 
and one on there. And that means that when we're going to put our stuff, it's simply going to grab the mana from these and put it in there. Uh, we can see the connection if we right click on it. As you can see, it's connected to all of them. Okay. So the next thing is we need to have, uh, like you saw, the mana diamonds and the mana pearl. So finally, this is useful to go to my outside. So that's 64 and 64. Whoa. Yeah, okay. That was weird, but it's okay. I need to go at the bottom. All right. It's kind of weird, like going a little bit further away. So that means that we need to put 64. That should probably empty a good portion of the mana pool. Okay, but it's okay. Look, mana pool is what? Close to there. Let's throw a little bit of Black Lotus in there. Oh, back to full. All right, let's put 64 pounds. Whoa, 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 whoa. Buddy, don't fall. I go again. And it's full. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to open this bag, grab 7 or 8 to make 64. And we're going to throw 1, 1, and 1. So there's going to be a crazy animation. And boom, we got a tear steal. <laughs> Instantly. Because we use that many. But look at how much mana it uses. All of them went down like this. So it is quite demanding on mana. Go, second one. Go, a third one. I don't know how many I need, but I'm going to make like uh, eight. I don't know if I can make more. You cannot. You need to do them one at a time. Okay. This can also be automated. I know the way. And it's great, we've got this at the top, so maybe I could use this to throw the items at the bottom. Like, here. Yeah, perfect, there's even something there, so... Perfect. I, I know how to do it. Okay, so we're five. How's the mana doing? Eh, it's not bad. That's why I had so many mana pool in the first place. I know, it might think... It might look like an overkill, but I didn't want to fill them up all the time. So, alright, last one. I don't know how many the book wanted me to make. Wanted to make me four. Alright, let's take a look. Well, F. Fair Steel. Epic, greater than epic. Of course, we're going to go for epic on the right. Now we need the Elven Portal. Uh, so we're going to grab these. And go back to crafting at the top. So we need the living wood for that. Do I have more? Yes, I do have more. Uh, to make the portal, you need three glimming and an elven core, which is like that. So we're going to do that right now. There we go. We've got the core. Uh, we will need three pieces of glowstone. To make the three glimmering. And boom. So we should have the quest now done. Let's uh, place this in there. Let's place this in there. Yeah, it might think that it's the same, but we also need palans, uh, which are going to be really important. So you need to make these first. That's something we can do. I simply need two. For some reason, one, two. And then this one. Oh, quite easy. I thought he needed more Terra Steel than that. Turns out it doesn't. Alright, so how come I can't place this in there? You go away. And one, two. Just two. 
go like that and all right let's right click this boom we've got our two pylons we will also need two more mana like so all right so let's go at the bottom and let's prepare this uh at first i did say that uh, for now like we we do need to make a hole to pass mana inside it's the only problem for now but it's because to uh, get the things from the mana por uh, from the portal we need mana so but after that we'll be able to use these quite easily um all right let's remove this let's open the book let's go back to here the portal i want to visualize and you're gonna come right here okay so it just shows you where things go pretty much so mana pool mana pool Palons, Palons, three, Glimmering, the core, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Boom. So, oh yeah, I forgot to do this. Elven Portal. Elven Portal. This is epic greater and greater. So we're going to go for the epic course uh now you want us to get all this uh the thing is i didn't make a lot of wood uh but uh, i guess i'm gonna make that so i'm gonna make more 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 wood that means uh pretty much a stack i don't even know how many we need a stack okay i'm gonna make um, maybe more than a stack just so i get some uh, in re in reserve and uh i'll bring you guys back after i'll make more of these tiny flower also all right so i've done the wood uh and one thing that i did not know is uh you don't use mana steel to get uh, elementium anymore elementium elementium you use terra steel so yeah so i had to make a bunch more of these uh, i had to use like a lot of those flowers but it's okay everything's ready uh so if you go in here uh, I did change this block in the middle. I for I didn't put the Elven Gateway. Uh, you simply need your wand, and well, you right-click on it, and boom, it's going to open. Uh, it's going to use a little bit of mana. Normally, it doesn't use that much mana after. Uh, but what we're gonna do the first thing, we're gonna throw our book, and it's gonna send us the next edition. So contain two school Elven knowledge. Now let's see how much the mana. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so we're just going to start by throwing things in there, and it's just going to send it back. So we need, like, Dragonstone, uh, we need the Pearls, it's going to return Pixie Dust, uh, and I'm also going to throw the 64 Terra Steel in there, uh, which should give us Elementium. So let's do the Terra Steel. Yes, it's going to give us the Elementium. That's not bad. Uh, at least it's not a 2 for one since, you know... <laughs> Okay, Terra still takes forever to do. Uh, let's throw the pearl. It's going to give us some pixie dust, which is going to be useful for us uh, since we're going to make... Uh, where is it? Uh, this. Uh, some spark upgrade. Uh, and you you need uh, some pixie dust for that. Uh, you can also put the wood, which is going to give you great wood, which can be used to uh, well build things and also make better mana spreader. So this is pretty much what we will use it for. Uh, we're going to send way more than just one stack. We're going to send three stacks. Just to make sure that we have enough. Living wood is easy to do. Great wood, you need a portal. Wow, this thing's not even moving. Could go like on a break for three hours and come back so it would be full. And it's easy, I just need to throw a couple of these in there. Like, I don't know if I can reach. There you go. Almost full. Oh, this one's a little bit further. There we go. Alright. So, again, more pearls. I have the diamonds to do after that. And we should have everything we need to start doing pretty much everything we want. 
Uh, the only thing that I didn't think about is I need nine. Uh, I need a little bit more of uh, mana like this. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to do a setup to get mana from the flowers. Uh, so that way we can get all the mana we need or whenever we want. All right, so I think we've got everything. Uh, if we look at the book... Uh, the portals to Alfheim. I think it should tell you now what you can send through. The resource of Alfheim. So wood. Uh, you can do this. It's two of these. Oh, maybe the book is wrong because I'm 100% certain you can't... You can't make those. Because uh, when you look at this, uh, there's only one recipe. So, alright. Pixie, uh, this we have, Nether Quartz, which can pass, Mana can be turned into Half Glass. So yeah, pretty much we, we've got the things that we need. So uh, what we're going to do is, I don't think you can do that. You can't close it, you can do this though. Remove one of these or destroy a piece of the portal and it should close. Alright, so this now works. Uh, the thing we need now is a way to send... Pretty much our things, our mana, from where we're going to produce it, which is going to be uh, down below, probably around here, to the top. And for this, we're going to use a Spark Skull Divergent, uh, Recessive, and something. Spark. Uh, Dominant will grab all the, all the, the mana that you can, so we're going to put one of these over there, that is for sure. Okay. Uh, and that's the thing, I don't know exactly how I'm going to do this. Uh, because I want to use the spark to send it over there, but I don't want to empty out the mana pool. Since, well, maybe I have a trick for that. Yeah, I think I have a trick and it will work. So for this, I will need two more mana pool, which I thought I had. Uh, turns out I don't. So let's go to the base and grab some of that. Uh, we will need a dropper or a dispenser. One of the two will do. I should have one of those somewhere. Or not. Uh, dropper. That's probably the easiest. Exactly what we need. And a one piece of rest here. Uh... No, not that one. That one. Alright, so we've got the dropper. Uh, also, we're going to do the quest. Uh, so, in here. Boom. That one. Uh, we have all this. So, Helvin. Dreams is greater, greater, greater. So, alright. Like, oh, we can't because we're full. So, let's put some of the... Uh, in there since it detected everything and the one on the right and boom so this is the Gaia we're gonna need to make four Gaia pounds which again they're pretty easy to make we're gonna do this just in an instant after uh, we're not gonna fight a Gaia though <laughs> that's gonna wait a little bit well kind of easy to fight Gaia with this uh, but sure uh, <laughs> got the two bags also uh, let's just grab back these and put that in there. It's gonna be a little bit better. Uh, giant cube, I do not want you. Giant cube, I refuse you. It's not I work, I know. Uh, <laughs> so I was 100% sure I had mana something somewhere. So let's look at this. A mana? Oh wow. Okay. A mana pool? I, I never remember if it's one word. No, oh, it is two word. Cool. Okay, maybe I did not have any. Alright, well, it's okay. We can do this. So, two mana pool. Uh, we will need one spreader. I need just one. Uh, so, we'll go like this. We'll go with this super, super slow one. Uh, simply because that is what we need. Okay. Uh, 
Yes. Okay, yes, that will work. So we've got the dropper. Uh, we will need a timer. Like one of these. Uh, and this thing is allowed. Uh, one timer, so... Well, guys, it's gonna give me a little bit more blocks, so I'm gonna do all this. I'll bring you guys back just after, because it's gonna take me a couple of items. So it just take a second. Alright guys, so everything is prepared. Uh, I've also made the little contraption at the bottom that I think might work. Uh, so pretty much what it is, uh, I'm pretty sure I didn't need to do this. But it's a comparator with uh, this guy here as 7. I might change it to 8 so this thing keeps full. Uh, but when it is higher than the 7 power, it's gonna send the power here and stop this clock. If it's lower, it's gonna start the clock, which is gonna drop the things. And to keep always mana into this, uh, I've got this little setup that when I put the uh, recessive onto here, it's going to send mana there, which this one's gonna send it over there. But this should normally be slower than that, so it should always have mana in here when this drop. Uh, I hope this is going to work. But, uh, we're gonna try this by the hard way. Uh, we also need another mana pool here that I almost forgot, which I don't have a spark for. Of course I forgot the spark. Uh, let's go make a spark. <laughs> I forgot to make the freaking spark. Okay, uh, so the spark made like this, we've made that already. There we go, we've got four. Let's make... One, two, three, four. Let's make two. Why not? Uh, nuggets. We've got that. We just need the fire. One, two, three, four. Okay, so... Boom, I think. Boom. And boom. There you go. Now we've got the spark. Perfect. Alright. So, in here we're gonna place a spark. Uh, we're also going to use uh, the, the Dreamwood, but uh, I'm going to do that after. I'm just going to point uh, this into there and into there so that it fills up. Okay, so this is the test. This is I have no idea if this is going to work. I have not tested it. Holy moly, this... Oh, God, you're kidding me. It seems to be keeping inside, so... Yes, it works. Is this thing keeping up, though? And that is the problem. I think I'm gonna have to put some glass around. Oops. <laughs> yeah. So maybe putting some walls around is going to be the better idea. But I think it's keeping up at the top, so as you can see, these are filling up. What about the one at the bottom? Is it keeping up? Yes, it's also gaining. So that should work. Alright, let me go grab some glass. And also make the, the other things we need. So we also need... You? It seems to always be ready when I come. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna make a dream wood. Uh, well, two dream wood. I don't think we need dream wood. Oh, that's not how you make a spreader? Oh. Oh. Okay. I can do that. There we go. Two helven. Uh, and then we need glass. Which would be good. There we go. So that should be enough. Now there's going to be plenty around. <laughs> that I'm going to have to uh, pretty much pick up. Yep. Uh, so let's do this. Alright, so we'll put that one there, that one there. It should normally always go inside now. Is it? I'm, I'm kind of waiting for the moment where this fills up, because these 
Of course, like, it's a lot to fill. But I do think I had enough mana... Mana flowers for this. Yeah, this, this, this system actually works. I'm actually surprised. Uh, the only thing that I'm afraid of is this one. Oh, it's also filling this one. Because this one I want to put this spark, which is going to grab the mana from the other the other ones. So I don't want it to grab from this, but I think it's okay. I think we can manage, even though. So this is great. Uh, the only thing I need to do now is, okay, system that's going to fill this in. And the mana production is 100% efficient. So, all right, before we finish, we've got some bags to open, and we've got two pylons to make. So, let's make pylons. Okay, we're gonna make two of these. So, this one you saw, but I don't have any more uh, diamonds. Uh, so, we're gonna go do that one. We're gonna prepare everything, and then we're gonna go. Uh, I should have this already. So I've got that four. One, two, three, four. And we need four gold. Uh, one, two, three, four. All right, so let's go over there and let's do this in our brand new mana pools. As you can see, they're pretty much all full. Nice. So I'm gonna do this. And there we go. So the two and the two, let me guess we needed four. Uh, it's probably the case. Yes, we needed four. <laughs> Let's do that. Oh, I'm so lucky when I do my things like this. Okay, so two. Uh, we need uh, four gold, so I'm pretty sure I've got gold in there. And there. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Put the one back. And now we should be good. Oh, my jetpack's completely dead again. I've been having some uh, jetpack issues. It's not really issues. Uh, where is it? All right. Uh, so, again, two, oops, nope. We need to get, so. So, two like this, I don't have... Oh, the mana. Yes, now it should work. And then these two. All right, so Gaia Guardian 1 and 2. Uh, this one is legendary, epic, and legendary. Oh, wait, we need to kill a Gaia. So, I cannot do it right now, and we don't have the time to actually kill a Gaia spirit. So that will wait for next episode, guys. Uh, between episode, I'm gonna try to get uh, these things here. I'm gonna show you already so you don't feel scared. Uh, I'm gonna do this, then this one goes in, and this one goes in, this one goes in, all the way to Imperial. Uh, because I wanna get some Zivikyo Essence so that we can end up doing some of Zivikyo blocks. To then do some Z mass Zivikyo blocks to then do the Master Infusion Stone, which is somewhere we want to go. Uh, we will need Compressed, so it means uh, at least 9 ingots. Uh, this one will need, as you saw, and everything else well, we already have. But yeah guys, that is going to be it for today, so if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to leave a like, if you loved it, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.